Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel Hub. In the last video I explained how to randomly assign names to groups as shown in this sheet here. Today I will explain how to use VBA to display the names representing each group as shown here. To do this we will start by recording a macro which uses an if function to determine which name belongs to which group. We will then write a for next loop to delete all the cells showing a false value. Right now I simply have a title, the group names and output cells. I've also applied some formatting to the cells. You can do the same by clicking Alt H J and selecting this format for the group title, this format for the group numbers and this format for the output cells. Let's start by recording the macro. To do this enter the developer tab and click record macro. Let's give this a meaningful name such as sort groups. We will start by selecting the first cell in our range and entering an if statement. If the group number, which in this case is 1, is the same as the group the person is in, then return the name of the person in the group. If not, then return false. Here let's add dollar signs to ensure that as we apply this formula to other cells, we always stay within the same row here and the same columns here. We can then select cells B6 to K6 and click Ctrl R to bring this formula across. Since our input sheet contains 30 names, we can bring this formula down to cell K35 by clicking Ctrl D to ensure all names are accounted for. Finally, we can click Stop Recording. As you can see, we're provided with the names corresponding to each group. However, we're also given a bunch of false values, which we ideally want to get rid of. To do this, we can enter Visual Basic and create a for next loop. Let's call our macro containing the for next loop eliminate false values. Next, let's declare a variable, but before doing so, let's add option explicit at the top, which reminds us to declare the variables properly. We will call our variable counter and declare it as an integer. Since there are 30 names and 10 groups, we want our code to repeat 300 times. In other words, we wanted to search for false values in the 300 cells within B6 to K35. We will then declare another variable called false value. Here we're telling VBA to find the false values within the range B6 to K35. Finally, we can add the following if statement. This is telling VBA that if it finds a false value within the range B6 to K35, then it should delete that cell. Once it has found the false value and deleted it, we want it to repeat this process 300 times, hence the use of next counter. We can now incorporate this macro into the one we recorded earlier by asking VBA to call it. In other words, once VBA has run the sort groups macro, we wanted to execute the eliminate false values macro. We then want to select cell B4 to avoid having cells B6 to K35 highlighted. Since we're asking VBA to delete many cells, our code is likely to be slow. To overcome this, we can apply application screen updating around our code. We can now close Visual Basic and add a button to run the macro sort groups. To do this, click Insert and select the button icon. And we will assign our macro sort groups. Now, when we click this button, you can see that all the false values are eliminated. Let's now test whether our macro can handle a different group size as well. As you can see, our code works perfectly, as it has assigned six people to each group. So that's how you can use VBA to display the names representing each group automatically. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.